Welcome to Olympus Finals. Uh, this past Friday we had a pretty cool, fun tournament. Um, some new decks were being uh, put out there. Of course, you got your Magna X's out there in the in the locals, of course. Um, so this past Friday it was Saul and Gabriel uh, in the finals. Gabriel was piloting his uh, Magna X deck, and Saul playing his pet deck. One of them, the uh, Virus Imperial deck. These are the two deck lists for each of those respective decks. Go ahead and check them out, and we'll get started shortly. Alrighty, game one. We got Saul starting off. He bricked, I'm guessing. Uh, Gabriel's going into Vimon, playing a Vimon, searching top three. Gets a double hit. He's getting pluses here. And just plays the Davis. No Vimon. But at least he'll get the extra memory for the next turn. Alright, Saul draws. He, and he just hard drops the Dino Beamon. Honestly, when I... I saw Saul's hand in this game one. It was rough. He bricked hard. Yeah, there's him showing, there's him showing me the hand, and I, I already kind of saw it before he showed it to me. I was like, "Damn, that's that's pretty rough." So Gabriel swings with the Magnamon, and then we have the option card hitting an unsuspended Digimon, but he has Purge, so it doesn't matter. Grabs the Magna X. I think it's Pandemonium something. I, don't, I just don't remember the name of it. So Saul drops down the Wormon, grabs the Imperial. Gable hatches, drops the Promo V. Goes into Magna again. He's gonna just bounce the Wormon. He's gonna swing. He lives. Swinging again with Magna. He lives. And plays the Vima. Grabs uh, maybe <laughs> just probably the other Magna. Yeah, might as well. All right, drops the worm on and raising and just goes into Shadra. Honestly, I was watching this match because uh, I, I said, decided to drop out on the final round because I was like, oh, I'm not going to top today. I was playing some Jessmon, but I was playing like an OTK version, not the... I wasn't playing Jessmon GX in it. But this was a very interesting match to watch. All right. I'm sorry. Game two. Uh, so I'll pick, uh, scooped up game one and he drops down the red Vmon. The trash, the worm, draw two, and then of course Gabriel, we're just catching up here, goes into the promo there, and then plays Davis. He double Davises. That's two free memory next turn. Alright, so it goes into Shadra. He's gonna swing, I believe, 7k, because I think that Vmon gives you 2k. Uh, goes into the Vmon in the back, BT16 Vmon. And then Digi's into Dino B. All right. Gabriel Digibob is going to trash the bottom two and bounce the Dino B. Well, he trashes the top for every color. And then with no sources, he's going to bounce. If he swings, he's going to armor perch. Going to Magna here, he's going to just keep him unspent because he's going to unspent anyways. He's going to swing again. Drops a Vima. Puts out a two. So he's gonna promote. So it goes into the Shadra. He's gonna get to play a warmer V. Actually, 
Actually, it's for three, right? Yeah, it's for three. I'm sorry. Uh, he's gonna bust out the Wormon, he's gonna Digivolve the Shadro, he's gonna DNA into the Dino B. Bring out the Dino B. Give her. Not give her a rush, I guess. And then he's gonna DNA again into the Imperial Dragon mode. And now Gabriel has to choose one, which is, of course, he's gonna pick the Vmon, so just armor purges the other deletion. He's gonna go ahead and swing. He swings over the Vmon, he suspends the other Vmon just because of the Wormon. So, Gabriel's turn. Gets two memory. Vmon in the back. Uh, he's gonna Digi into Magna. He's gonna strip the top two. He's gonna swing. He's gonna get deleted there by battle, but he has purge, so he's good. Uh, he's gonna go into the Magna and choke Sao to one. So I was gonna go ahead and swing security, hit a training. Drops analog. Grabs a Dino B, trashes the rest. So Gabriel's gonna jump to three because the two Davises. He's gonna swing. He's gonna live, or he's gonna die to the battle. He's gonna draw one, play out a V Mon from his hand. Grabs his Magna X. Goes into the Magna. Strip two more sources. Uh, he's gonna swing. Play training, grabs another Magna. Uh, so Saul has to figure something out for this next turn. Supposed to be in the back. Use the Pandemonium card. He's gonna pop one of his Digimon and pop one of the unsuspended Digimon. He's gonna gain one now as well for the analog. And he has effects going off. Use the Shadra effect and then use the Wormon. Alright, Shadra's on deletion to play the Wormon. Wormon's effect to Digivolve for one on the Shadra. Shadra to pop out another Wormon. Wormon to. Yeah, you, you see what is going on here. Wormon. Gonna digivolve into the Flame Dramon for a reduced cost of one as well. And he's gonna DNA into Dino B. Trying to keep up with the video, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, goes ahead and plays the Pio Dramon. DNAs. Goes into Dragon Mode. He's gonna have to choose a Digimon. He's gonna choose the V Mon, of course. Swing with the Dragon Ball. Suspend because of the Warm On. Dice of Death X, which kind of helps. 
Change on effect, gonna play the Wormmon back out. Wormmon effect to Digivolve into Shadra. Shadra effect to go into the Wormmon. Wormmon effect to do the whole loop all over again. He's gonna DNA. Into the Dino B. Puts out Peodra. Goes into Dragon Mode again. He's gonna have to choose a Digimon to keep alive. Swings over the Vmon. And passes his turn at two. What a loop. That Death X killing the <laughs> that Death X killing the Dragon Mode kinda helps out well right there. That whole loop stuff is like looping around that is so much fun to see and to do. So Gabriel goes into the V1 in the back. Thing of a play because he needs to have something out here to block something. And he's only left at two memory. So you can't just hard drop and then digivolve into a magna. Kinda has to just drop a magna, if anything, maybe. But there is two swings. So he can block maybe one swing, but we'll see what he killed. Pull up here. Oh, we're thinking about the blinding ray play. We can't do it either though because of the no yellow source at the moment. Plays a Vmon, puts him to one. You can just grab the Davis. Alright, and it was yeah. Gabriel just did it for him. Like swing swing, you win. On to game three. So Sal's just gonna hard drop the Vmon, trash the Shadra, draw two. Get Rodigi's into V, plays a V. No hit. Oh, that was a mistake on my list as well. Uh, on Gabriel's list, he didn't have two Awakenings, he had two Jessmon GXs. I'm sorry. That was my bad. I didn't mean to do that. It was just an accident. My error. Uh, plays Wormmon. He's going to grab the one of these. Grabs the Shadra. Trashes the Flame. Bottom next to the other. Plays the Analog. Grabs a Worm. Trashes the rest. Analog is sick in this deck. Alright. So he goes. He swings. He's going to pop the Vmon. Because he pops on Suspended Digimon with the Pandemonium. Training, grabs a V. Drops the V. Anemonium. I'm so sorry, I've been mispronouncing it. I was I just thought about it in my in my head. I was like, Anemonium? The heck? Pandemonium. I apologize. Um, goes into the worm in the back. He's thinking about making a play here. He swings with the Vmon. And I'm guessing Gabriel has a Zudo because he was thinking about it. So he's going to minus 12 something. 12 the Wormmon. He's going to go into Shadra for 3. Plays a Wormmon. Yeah, he had to... Oh yeah. Uh, he had to draw the Dino B first, so they, this was his top three search. Because he did evolve. That's why he grabbed the Dino B, because the Dino B was the top, so that was the card he was supposed to draw with the Shadra effect. So he goes into the Shadra here. DNAs. And turn yeah, he gets to choose the either to did you evolve from uh from the, the trash or uh DNA at the end. Pretty much goes into dragon mode. And he's gonna have to pick, so of course he picks the Vmon. The Magna there is gonna draw him a card and then play the card from under his source. He's gonna grab the Magna. And then he's just gonna go ahead and swing with the Dragon Mode. Two checks, I believe. I think he has the other Pale Jamon underneath. Yeah. Oh! Going for more. <laughs> he's gonna peer, or not pierce, but swing with no uh, option cards working. Security effects are turned off. Oh. 
Yeah, the awakening should not have worked. I don't believe because security effects should have turned off. So we're gonna go into the magna, strip the top two. Yeah, I don't think the awakening goes to hand. I think it just goes straight to trash, just because it shouldn't be working since he bought him the uh, fight the dragon mode. So he strips another two sources. I think he was asking how many on deletion effects he has. We're gonna swing. This will do some damage here. He would really need to just use another Magna X. The one that strips two sources to bounce him so he doesn't pop him. Or Zudo. The Awakening should not have been in the hand, but it's going to be there. Goes into the Magna. Just a slight misplay there. But yeah, honestly, we'll see what happens. Uh, so, so I was gonna swing. I think he knows. I think the Magna X is bigger at this point, or the Magna is at bigger at this point. So he's gonna block. Oh, he wasn't bigger. I'm sorry. He's gonna block, but now he's gonna use calling. On deletion effects happen. I think the fighter mode will push out, spit out two, uh, a worm and a V. And the shader will also spit out a worm or a V. Then he, has, he hatches and gains a memory from the uh, analog. Spin out two bodies. He should be a spin, yeah, spinning out like three bodies because of the fighter mode and the uh, shade Jermon. So three bodies should have been spit out, and he already had the worm on. He's gonna swing with worm. This is trying to trash something. So he draws one, trashes one. Catches is the worm. Goes into Shadra. Reduce, or he's gonna gain a memory because of the, um, the V-Mon. So then he's gonna play out the worm on. He's gonna get the Digivolve onto the Digimon there. From the trash, I mean. Uh, he's gonna do the Dino B of play here. Plays the Pyodra. I think he's giving it right. No, he's gonna DNA. Dragon mode. Make some choose. Gonna swing bottom deck. Magna is going to do Digivolve and he loses all the memory. So the thing I play that So had there was he could have just swung with the Rush card and just swung with the Dino B.
But again, it's always like heat of the moments type of stuff in some matches, to be honest. Because I didn't, I didn't honestly like pay attention to that either when I was watching. So Gabriel has one last turn to try to do something. He has four memory. Oh, excuse me. So he's going to swing with the Magna. He'll live. Which I probably think he didn't want. I was probably. I think he didn't want to live there because like, he might have the other Magna in his hand to just like unspend. Magna. Gets two back. The only thing that sucks about this other Magna is though it does not really purge, just plays one, so that thing the V money he's gonna play is gonna have summoning sickness. Gonna swing, use X antibody. Uh, it doesn't matter if Gabriel blocks here because the Imperial will just loop it again. The Imperial Dragon Ball will just loop around again because the Shade Javon underneath. So he's gonna swing, kind of dares him to block. And then the whole loop happens again, but he doesn't really need a loop because you just have the worm and beam on there. So Shadow One just plays out a. Yeah, he'll just judo one, but the other one's gonna be able to swing. That's what Ken Gabriel just says, like, you got it. <laughs> so these are the two lists. Again, good games to Saul and Gabriel. Saul ended up taking that one, two to one. Um. Hey, Imperial Fighter mode look, I mean, the virus version looked pretty cool, man. I mean, I, I've i been wanting to play it, but I'm not spending all that money for a Shade Jermon. No way. I can't do it. And this deck did get top 32, I believe, in one of the regionals. So, hey, maybe people are actually sleeping on it. So, you're right, man. Maybe I should move it up a little bit, but it's not top 16 yet, so I can't move it up my tier list yet, bro. Uh, but anyways, GG's to everyone, and... For all of you all watching, I appreciate y'all watching, leaving comments, subbing as well, uh, and all the likes as well. So I really appreciate y'all. Thank you very much. I hope y'all have a good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on what time you're watching this. And have a great day. Peace.